Good morning, Jean. Great to have you here. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Yvonne. Welcome. I have a nice, a nice, nice cup of coffee this morning. It's so good. I hope some of you brought coffee too. We'll wait just a couple more seconds here to get a few more people joining us. I got so many cards in the mail. Honestly, I can't even show them all today. I have to space them out. So we're going to show some of them on Thursday. Yes, you heard that right. Thursday. I'm moving to summer hours. Um, Steve is taking... Well, he's not actually, he's actually being forced to take Fridays off, which he's always wanted to do anyway, so it kind of works out great for us. So we're going to, I'm going to start doing Facebook Lives for the summer hours, which will be every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m., just so that you guys know that there will be a change. Oh, Jean made a fresh cup of coffee. Hooray! Good morning, good morning. You know what? Bonnie already shared, and you guys don't even know what I'm giving away, but let's go ahead, not jump ahead of ourselves, and I will go ahead and get this officially started. Good morning, and welcome everybody. This is Kay Kaltoff, and we're doing a stamp and chat with Kay. We are going to make some easy, elegant, uh, masculine cards today. Yes, masculine cards can be elegant, because there's a touch of earthiness to it. So there's some, some really lovely... Uh, undertones to these cards. We're using Crumb Cake, Knight of Navy. We can stamp off if we want a lighter color or leave bold. And I'm using every single stamp in the stamp set because the cards I got in the mail so inspired me with their decorated envelopes that I decided that I would actually decorate the envelopes on this particular Facebook Live. So it'll be kind of fun. And you'll see, you'll see that my decorating of envelopes is very easy. You can do it too. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Oh, you're all sharing. How wonderful. Well, we are going to be doing a great giveaway when I draw the names for the winners of this card, which will be on Thursday. You will win, along with the card itself, you will win two yards of the lovely denim ribbon. One of my very favorites. Um, it's so nice to work with. We're not tying bows today, but you can tie really pretty and beautiful bows with this ribbon because it's so soft and flexible, and uh, it's very, very easy to work with. And it's just kind of that right size. You know how some ribbon is just a little too big, and you almost have to um, design the card around the ribbon. Well, this ribbon is just a great size for accenting your card. Doesn't kind of overtake the card. So I love that. Good morning. Hello. Oh, it's so great to have you all here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're well. I, da I pray daily for the health and wellness of my friends, family, and customers. So, so far, so good. Do you guys know I don't even know a single person who has COVID or has has had COVID, it's kind of strange. Um, I don't think we're as deeply affected here in Minnesota. According to my daughter, who's a nurse, actually I have two daughters who work in healthcare, but the one who works most regularly um, and lives at home with us, she was telling us that Minnesota won't reach its peak for some time yet, maybe not until June. And so I know the numbers are going up. We've started seeing some double-digit deaths, which is very, very sad. But I know that some of you live in states where the deaths are much, much higher. And I just feel for you, and I'm sure that, that many of you have been very, very affected by this. So my heart and thoughts and prayers are continuing to be with you. Um, you may have noticed that my nails have been growing out. I love getting my nails done. It's such a pampering experience. Um, and, and now I have COVID nails. So they're sort of like half half painted and half not. But I, I 
you know, my daughters were saying, mom, you should just like take it off, but I don't want to. I almost feel like it's a badge of honor to show that we all, we all are um, experiencing COVID in a different way. And every time I look at my nails, I think of all the people who are suffering so much worse than I am, where nails are just the least of your product pro problems. And so that is one of the reasons I have decided just to let my nails grow out naturally during this crisis to remind me every time I am working with my hands, which is every single day because I craft all the time, to remind me of all the people who have it way worse than I do, way, way worse. And so it's just a, just a good reminder for me to keep people in my prayers every time I see my nails. So that is why I have the COVID look on my nails. Oh my goodness. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, oh, look at all of you. Oh, and I've got so many Downline members watching too. Welcome, oh, that's exciting, great. All right. Oh, Bonnie's saying she's never had her nails done. Well, you guys, I was a, I, you may not know this, but I actually um, had a different sales career before I started Stampin' Up. I sold Mary Kay Cosmetics for 26 years. And I have the kind of nails, I'm kind of rough on my hands. I don't always take as good a care of them as I should. Um, where you know regular nail polish just didn't work and so i've always gotten my nails done and i love it it's just so pampering to me and i just love the way they look and you know i flash them around it just gives me that little boost of confidence <laughs> i mean not everybody's like that but you have to understand my history i came from a uh, kind of a cosmetic background when i first started in sales <laughs> otherwise you know what i probably wouldn't care oh funny all right all right, well, I tell you what, I'm gonna flip the camera down and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm, I'm tangled up in my cords, oh no. I, you know how it is, you don't have, um, I have all these cords because I have so many things that are attached to electricity on my desk. And because I have my desk in the middle of the room, everything is just like kind of draped along on the floor. So every once in a while I wheel over them. All right, so let me go ahead and flip the camera down and we'll get started. Okay, so let me show you some of the cards that I received in the mail first. This one is from a downline member. And I just want to show you why I was inspired to decorate my envelopes today. Because look at there, she's got a cute little umbrella off to the side of her envelope. And I think it's so sweet. So thank you so much, Mary Alice Bellis. You just did a great job on this card. I love the umbrellas. She actually stamped uh, with, with kind of tone-on-tone -tone colors onto... Um, designer series paper that was part of our celebration offering, which I believe it was the second most popular celebration item was the Lily Impressions designer series paper. Isn't that neat? And then she um, used the Under My Umbrella sentiment here, and I think, I don't know what it's called. I haven't really worked with it very much, but it's a, it's a set of dies that are with I don't know, was it called Sweet Silhouettes? I just don't remember, but it's a bundle in the in the new uh, mini catalog that we have. So thank you so much, Mary Alice Bellis. So cute, and look at that stamp. Oh my gosh, is that the cutest stamp you've ever seen? I, I couldn't stop looking at it. It like has foil on it. It's like the perfect stamp. I'm gonna hold it up really close so you guys can see it. It's like the perfect stamp for stampers because it sparkles. I love that. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to look for those stamps. All right, and then the next card I received was from Jill Peterson. She's one of my watchers, so I hope you're watching, Jill. She sent me this beautiful spring kindness to thank me for doing Facebook Lives. And look at it, I think it was called The Essence of Love. It was a single stamp that we had um, popular in our line several spring catalogs ago. But it was always one of my favorites. I never sold it. I never gave it away. It still lives with me up at our cabin because it's one of my favorites. I just love it. And so here it is. Um, just 
she did some paper piecing. She she took the wink of Stella and just put the tiniest little bit of sparkle in each of the tulips. It's just lovely. So thank you so, so much, Jill. I love it. And then she also decorated the envelope, but in a little bit different way. She ran the flap of the very vanilla envelope from Stampin' Up! through with that new ornate um, embossing folder that comes in that new whole new suite of products that customers are now able to order as well. So I love that. So pretty. Thank you so much, Jill. You are a true sweetheart. Then I have two more cards to share with you today, both from my downline member, Dawn Michaels. She's so generous. She calls herself the scrappy stamper because she absolutely loves working with paper scraps. So she just takes little scraps of paper, although this one I said, I think she told me was part of a one sheet wonder project that she was doing. But isn't that cute? And then I love how she accents her saying with the um, shimmery white doily. And then she's using all kinds of sparkly uh, glimmer dots. I just love that. So that is from Dawn. And then she also used that uh, second most popular celebration item, which was the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. And she decorated the inside of the card too. And she always leaves her cards blank so I can use them with my customers or put them on display. I love that. And then also, Dawn is very well known for her for using um, Press Petals Designer Series paper. I know she's bought several packs through the year. It's her very favorite paper. One of the things I love about the paper, of course, is that you can cut out individual uh, pictures. They have a whole 12 by 12 sheet of individual pictures that you can cut out and use as focal points on your cards. And she said she was experimenting with creating a Dutch door. And so she said she wasn't really following any specific plan. She was just kind of, you know, winging it. And so she apologized, but I said, no need for apology. So it, it's perfect in my opinion just the way it is. So you open it up and I love how she accented with the with the linen, the braided linen thread up there. You open it up and it's got two little doors at the bottom. Very cute, done with again some of that uh, accented designer series paper that's part of the press petals designer series paper. And on the inside it says be calm and leave it to God. And then she fussy cut some little tiny flowers there at the bottom. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful card. So thank you so much, Dawn. I love it. I love that you were thinking of me as you made this and decided to give it to me as well as the other card. You are so sweet. All right. I also want to show you today four cards that we made at our last demonstrator meeting, which of course was online because we are not getting together. However, we are still going on with demonstrator meetings. It's really actually quite fun to do these demo meetings online. I almost feel like I get more participation online than I do in person. It's just incredible. But we always do make and take packets, so I mail these out to my downline members, and this is what we did this last time. So again, we use the um, Ornate Garden Product Suite, and so you'll see a lot of beautiful products that will be in the upcoming annual catalog, which demonstrators get to see the PDF of tomorrow, but customers have to wait until something like May, I don't know when it is, I think June. You have to actually wait till June. Oh my gosh, you poor customers. Too bad you're not demonstrators. <laughs> you can always join. But here is the um, fantastic, uh, and beautiful card that we that we created and it's got little ribbons ribbons peeking through and it uses the medium uh, daisy punch to coordinate with some of the daisies on this paper it's really fun and then you'll notice the gilded gems and the gilded gems is actually my $75 gift with purchase when using a host code during the month of April so keep that in mind if you're placing orders with me be sure to use that host code and it's 75, I've had a few people ask me, it's $75 before shipping, handling, and taxes. So it is your retail amount of the product you're ordering. Here's another one that we did. Isn't it so sweet? So this uses the, the thanks, there's a thank you set as part of this. It has all different thanks and sentiments with it. I love it. 
Of course, I don't have it in front of me, so I can't remember exact names, but I do know it's the Ornate Garden Product Suite. And you can find links on my blog at Stamping to Share. So this was a cute one. And then we did an, oh, you know, it uses that lovely embossing folder in the background. Then we did another one, which looks like this. Why, thanks, my friend. And again, it uses that beautiful paper. In fact, I showed this paper off in my last Facebook Live with a fun fold card. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check it out. It's really um, a great card. But I love this. And I just love the little sparkle that these gilded gems do for your cards. So pretty. And here's another one, the final one that we did in our demonstrator make and take packet for the month of April for our demonstrator meeting for Creative Crafters Stamping to Share. So there it is, three pretty gold gems again. So let me go ahead now and we'll introduce the card we're making today. So here it is. It's just a lovely masculine card. I think everybody is going to be surprised how easy it is to make. There's lots of layers, but it just takes no time at all to put this card together. You're just going to love it. And the stamping is quick and simple and easy, and it's just all around a fun card to make. Here's what the inside looks like. So let's go ahead and I will start making this card. So of course the first thing we want to do is get our card base ready. So as we're making two cards for two giveaways, I have two card bases here. This is Soft Suede. It's one of our Stampin' Up! colors in our neutral color pack. So I'm going to flip it over and just give a little press here with my bone folder. And what I did, anytime I'm doing a landscape card, I find it really nice to open them like this. Um, because then they stand up better and they don't fall down when you have them on display. So that is why I do these landscape cards like this. So that is four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. All right, so we are actually going to set that aside for a minute because we're going to do some stamping right off the bat. We're going to make our inside panels. So I will need my... Well, I won't need a stampin' mat because we're not working with photopolymer. This is actually a red rubber stamp set, but I do need a piece of scrap paper. So we're going to stamp, we're going to start by stamping the inside panel, which is very vanilla, four by five and a quarter. And let me grab a sip of coffee here. We are going to use crumb cake ink. And there's this wonderful big uh, kind of roadside weed. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't, it's definitely not wheat. And I mean, I know some of the farm grains and I don't recognize it, but you know, in Minnesota, we don't grow everything. So maybe I just want no. And I believe this is stamping pretty light, which is about perfect. If your ink pad is very well inked, you may want to stamp off once before you stamp on your actual, but this is this ink pad actually needs re-inking, but it's perfect for what were you doing today. So you're just gonna stamp a few um, a few little I don't know what do you call those a few little weeds at the bottom of your of your inside panel. I don't know. I just don't know what it's called. So I'm stamping different. Um, intensities by stamping once and then stamping again without re-inking. Then I'm going to take the happy birthday sentiment and I am going to take the Knight of Navy ink. We're just going to ink that up. Stamp happy birthday right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing with the other inside panel. Perfect. Now, because I have a lot of stuff on my desk, I'm going to go ahead and set the inside panels into our cards right now so that I have more room. So that's what I like to do when I'm stamping with you. So we're going to take Snail, going to flip it over. I'm just going to put a, whoops, sorry, I'm getting a little wild here. We're going to take the Snail, put a little line at the top. We're going to leave it nice and loose and flowing. And we're going to set that in on the inside panel. 
We're gonna do the same thing with this one over here. Now, of course, you guys can improvise. If you don't have this exact stamp set, you could, you probably have something similar um, that you could do to create this card. And really, you could change out the colors and you could make this, you know, it doesn't have to be a masculine card. It can be a lot of different kinds of cards. You could do it for a kid. You could do it for um, your mom or your aunt. There's a lot of things you can do. So now the next layer that we're going to stamp is a layer of crumb cake. And this is three and three fourths by five inches. And this is where we're gonna stamp the wheel. So I am going to grab my scrap paper again. And I'm going to grab the, the wheel, the wagon wheel. And we've got our Knight of Navy ink. And I'm going to start by making sure that I stamp off a little bit because we don't want the whole wheel image here because we're gonna have another panel right here I should show you, maybe so that you know what the heck I'm doing. In fact, let me bring the card in again. You've got this panel here, so you're not gonna get a full image of the wheel here. So what I do is I start out, ink up the wheel, and I stamp kind of in the middle, maybe just a touch towards the top. And I make sure that one area of the wheel is stamped off. And then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to overlap that. See, you're going to stack them on top of each other. So this one is a little tricky, so I'm going to turn it around so I can see better what I'm doing. Since I can't put my head right over the top. But what I'm trying to do is stack those wheels on top of each other. Just like that. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on that second panel. And that's all that's gonna be stamped on the crumb cake. And I have to flip it, because otherwise I'd have to put my head over the top and I want, to, you wouldn't have to flip it, but I have to just because I'm videotaping. There we go. So we have our three wheels stacked up on both pieces of the crumb cake paper, which again is three and three fourths by five inches. All right, then we have another panel that we're going to stamp. And this one is going to be our main image panel. So this is three and a half inches square and it's very vanilla. All right, and we're going to start again by stamping some of that kind of roadside weed looking stamp, whatever it is. All right, so I'm going to, again, do a little bit of stamping just real lightly a couple of times. We're just gonna put this all across like so. So you can see we're just kind of putting that across, okay? Then we'll do the same exact thing to this other panel. There we go. All right, so we are all done with our crumb cake ink. I don't believe we need it anymore. So I'm gonna set that aside. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this really um, awesome image of a, oh, Somebody help me, what is this called? Oh my gosh, I had one growing up right outside our kitchen window and I can't think, I know what it's, I know what it is, it's just not coming to me now, but somebody I'm sure, especially out there in Midwest, one of these Midwest states, certainly you know what I'm talking about. It's like a, oh, it's a weather vane, it's a weather vane. The reason they called it a weather vane is because the wind would push it and it would tell you what direction the wind was coming from. And my grandpa, who lived on the farm with us, would always say, you know, wind in the east, fish bite the least, wind from the west, fish bite the best. And then we'd have these other sayings, you know, if the wind was from this direction, it was going to rain. You know, all those different little things that you hear when you grow up as a farm kid. All right, so what you're going to do is you have this really well inked with Knight of Navy, and then you're just going to set it on here kind of in the middle. Give it a press, don't take it away too fast. Give it, a, give the ink a chance to sit in there. And look at that, how perfect! Oh my gosh, is that not just beautiful? 
All right, we're gonna do the same thing to this one again. A very well inked Knight of Navy ink pad. And we're just gonna set this in so it's pretty much in the middle. Set it in, give it a press. Oh yes, Karen Mack came to my west rescue and so did Ruth. You guys are so nice and so did Rosemary and so did Rhonda and so did Jean and so did Carol and so, oh my gosh, everybody knew what it was except for me. <laughs> I did think of it though and I didn't look. I thought of it before you guys all said it. All right, there's our second image, just beautiful. So now let's go on and progress. Oh, we still have just a little bit more stamping. So let's get that taken care of. So what you're gonna wanna do to do this last little bit of stamping is grab a scrap of very vanilla and grab your, grab any punch that fits the sentiment. But I think this particular punch looks really nice and it's called the Timeless Label Punch, okay? So grab your Timeless Label Punch if you have it. If you don't, just another punch that would fit this sentiment or die cut, whatever you wanna use, it's up to you. You can make your decisions based on what you wanna do. All right, so here is the Knight of Navy and I am inking up the sentiment that says, nothing's better than the wind at your back, the sun on your face and your family by your side. Oh, I love that sentiment. So I'm gonna stamp it on one end and I'll stamp it on the other end. Give that a couple seconds to dry. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and stamp our envelopes. I promised you I would do envelopes today, which is really rare for me. And I think what we'll do, because I've been so inspired by all of you, let me grab my scrap paper again. So I said I wasn't gonna use that weed stamp again, but I am because I wanna decorate my envelope. So I'm just gonna ink it up and lightly stamp the little weeds like this along the bottom of your very vanilla envelope. And I love using the Stampin' Up envelopes because they stamp beautifully. When I have used non-Stampin' Up envelopes, I've always been very disappointed. So I spend a little bit of extra money to make sure that my stamping on my envelopes, when I do, when I remember to, looks as beautiful as the stamping on the inside of my envelopes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the very last stamp set from this uh, Country Road stamp set, and I'm going to use it on the outside of my card because I have not used this, this like um, metal star. So I'm gonna do that now. Inking it up in Knight of Navy, and I'm just gonna stamp this down here, like so. Beautiful, the envelopes are decorated. Now when you go out to your mailbox and you get a card in the mail that has a little, just a little hint of something to come, it's so much more exciting. All right, so there we go. We have the decorated envelopes. I'm gonna put all this ink back so we don't end up getting the cards inked up by accident. Then we're gonna take our punch, the Timeless Label Punch, which is in our annual catalog. And by the way, the Country Road stamp set is also in the annual catalog because I may not have mentioned that. And we're just gonna center that in. And once it's centered in and looks good, punch it out. Do the same thing to the other side. And punch that out. Then it's time to assemble. We have everything stamped, everything stamped and ready to go. We did put our inside panels in, so we've got that much done. So I'll set those things aside. And then you want to assemble your crumb cake panel completely before you really do anything else, okay? Because there's a ribbon wrap. And if you've ever been like me, where you have it all assembled and then you realize, oh no, I forgot to wrap the ribbon. It's always so disappointing. All right, so we I pre-cut a couple of strips of our ribbon and I have these ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use snail on the back of these three and a half inch stamped image squares. And then we're just gonna set that in. 
just like so to layer over the top of our Knight of Navy. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Oh, and you know what? Stephanie had made a very good point here. Stephanie thought that if I added some purple on the flower, those little roadside weeds could be called lavender. Maybe that's what lav maybe it is lavender. I mean, I really don't know. All right, now we're going to take our ribbon. Oh, doesn't that like okay, so this looks okay, but really not that great. Put the ribbon on and it just changes everything. It just makes it look amazing. So I just use a little scotch tape to secure that down and back because I'm just really weirdly anal like that. <laughs> it's kind of the only non-stampin' up product that I use is scotch tape, but you know, 3M, Minnesota, what can I say? All right, so we're gonna flip that around again. We're going to secure it. And do the same thing on this side. And then we're gonna take this layer and we're gonna put it onto a layer of Knight of Navy. This layer is four by five and a quarter. And we are just gonna layer this on. So I'm just gonna take my snail and we're gonna go all the way around. Now you could use multi-purpose liquid glue, but as I'm looking around, mine is not here, so I'm just gonna not use multi-purpose liquid glue. All right. I need to grab my scrap. Whenever you have dark on dark, it doesn't work so good for lining up your borders to make sure all the borders are even. So it's always handy to have a little bit of scrap on hand so you can see what you're doing sometimes. All right, we're gonna flip this over. And we'll just set this onto this Knight of Navy panel, which again is four by five and a quarter. Looks great. Flip it over, burnish it from the back so you don't mess up any of your stamping. Then we are going to take our cards and we're going to just put this on as a layer onto our cards. So again, you could use snail. I don't happen to have it handy, so I'm going to use, I'm sorry, you could use multi-purpose liquid glue, but since I don't have it super handy today, I'm using snail, which also works really well. Press that on, burnish it from the back. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. And that all looks good. Two lucky people are going to win these cards. Again, you win by commenting, you win by sharing, letting me know you shared, and it's gonna be great. You're gonna love them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to flip over our sentiments and we're going to grab some, oh, where is it? We're going to grab some dimensionals here. And again, I'll do the drawing on Thursday and hopefully we'll mail out fairly quickly. You know what? I just, I'm just feeling the need to do three, cent, three little dimensionals here. I don't know why, but I just am. Oh, everybody's telling me they love these cards. Fantastic. Oh, and the colors are perfect too. Yes, I agree. So awesome for masculine cards and we all need them. So now what you do is you take your sentiment and you just kind of center it right over the top of that ribbon. So if the center of your sentiment is in the center of the ribbon, bring it up just a little bit so you can see the layers and press it down. And does that look great? It just adds so much to the card. All right, I'm gonna take off the little peelies on this one. Oh, everybody just loves the rustic country look. They love the color combination. They love the addition of the ribbon, the Knight of Navy matte. Yes, I agree, everything just makes it all pop. Again, just set this in so the center of your punch is at the center of the ribbon and you have a little bit of every layer showing. Give it a press. And it's beautiful. 
So there we have our cards, everybody. So here's the card I did in advance. Here's the card I just did. And then, of course, it's kind of fun to decorate your envelopes. So here's some decorated envelopes, too. So thank you, everybody, so much, everybody, for joining me.